Let's teach you how to hide, delete, and pin your very favorite categories in your YNAB budget. I'm Hannah, stick around. So you're needing to clean up your budget, we get it, been there. But should I hide this category or delete it? Let's walk through when to use which. To start, on the web app, just right click a category to pull up the hide and delete options. You can access these same buttons on the mobile app by tapping a category, selecting details, and scrolling to the bottom where these buttons live. If we select hide, this will tuck this category away into a hidden categories group at the bottom of our budget. Out of sight, out of mind, but not forever. By clicking into this hidden categories group, we can easily bring any hidden category back into the budget by clicking it in the web app or selecting it and tapping unhide in the mobile app. This is a great tool to use if you don't need this category in the budget now, but may need it again later. Like us Midwesterners hiding the lawn mowing service category over the winter since, I mean. Or from a strategic standpoint, some people like to hide categories for a short period of time as a way to test if they can live without it before truly deleting it. Smart cookie. Deleting a category, however, is a permanent move. If you choose to delete a category, it ain't coming back. This is easy and harmless for empty categories that have never had activity occur in them, like spending or funding. However, for categories that have had money assigned to them or transactions recorded to them, a few things to note. First, when you delete a category with money assigned to it, but no spending has yet to occur in it, any dollars left in this category will be sent right back up to your ready to assign category, where you can then redistribute them back out to your other categories in your budget. And second, we never want to delete transactions from our account, even if they've long come and gone, because deleting this activity will throw off the numbers for the rest of our budget. So when deleting a category with spending or transactions categorized to it, YNAB will ask you to rehome those transactions in another category of similar nature instead, then it can safely delete the category. For example, I saved up for my Caribbean cruise in a special Caribbean cruise category, and this is where I categorized all my travel tickets I purchased, all the meals I ate, and the souvenirs I bought. But that trip is over and I doubt I'll be needing a Caribbean cruise category very soon again if ever. So I can delete this category and rehome all those transactions to my generic travel category instead. Now I can go back and reference them whenever I need. Maybe I even added a hashtag Caribbean 23 to the memo line of each of these transactions for easy searching later. And my budget is still accurate and up to date. It's also worth noting, deleting a category and reallocating its transactions will be reflected in your reports. So if you tend to rely on reports to help you understand how much money money you're spending on average in certain categories. Remember that some categories may have significant bumps certain months due to this reallocation. If you're not a fan of this idea, hiding a category instead will preserve your spending trends and reports exactly the way you want. So basically, when in doubt, hide a category instead of deleting it. Now on the flip side, just as much as there are categories we don't really want to see anymore, what about those categories we'd love to see more of? On the mobile app, pin your favorite categories to the top of your budget to give you extra easy access to them. Just hold down any category, select pin category, and now you'll find this category both at the top of your budget and cozily nested within its regular category group. But don't worry, it's still one unified category, it's just housed in two different places. You can also pin a category by tapping it, selecting details, and tapping the pin in the corner to turn it blue. Pin as many categories as you want and collapse the pinned category group to tuck them away whenever you'd like. To unpin a category, either hold the category down and select unpin category, or tap the pin again on the category's details page to unselect it. And while you can't pin or see pinned categories on the web app, no worries. Create a focused view with your favorite categories instead. To do this, click the focused views icon at the top of your budget, three lines in a circle, and click new view. Name it however you want, select your favorite categories and click save. To move this focused view to the most visible spot in your budget, select the focus views icon again, click manage views and drag that bad boy right up to the top. 
Click done and now you can easily access your very favorite categories in a pinch. And pro tip, you can also create focus views on the mobile app. They'll just be tucked behind the focus views icon at the top of the app until you tap it, pulling them all up. Now, once again, you have all your favorite categories in one easy to access place. And with that, your budget is riding high and looking fly. Thanks for watching.